Well, hello, I'm Chris, and this is my aftermarket rear differential cover video. The car is a 70 Chevelle, has a 12 bolt. Well, I got this one from Summit. There's other companies that make the same style. Summit, I even think Summit makes one in this style. There's also one on eBay. But the one on eBay, you probably need to make sure it has a drain plug and has these two adjustments on it and make sure it has a fill plug I'm just saying now that there, there are some stuff that you never really hear about this it has these two adjustments right here so before you put it on there you need to go ahead and run these out those main caps they torque down to five pounds and they have these uh, locks on them or jam nuts or whatever okay so we're gonna run these out so we're 100% sure we got these ran out. Now you need to, you're gonna have to, f these are three quarter inch. Okay, so you got these ran out. Another important thing is you're gonna have to have a socket that can fit inside of this, see? Okay, so these are the bolts that go here. Um, I guess they're grade eight, they're quarter inch Allen. But you're going to need more than this to put this on here. Uh, these have to be torqued down, so you're going to have to probably get you one of these. But there's more. You're going to need two types of torque wrenches, possibly. Okay, These on the outside are 25 foot-pounds. And then you might have to get you an inch-pound or whatever you want to do. So 25 foot-pounds, the big one first and then you're going to put five pounds on the stud and then once you have that torque down to the uh, main cap then you're going to have to go back and torque these jam nuts to 10 foot pounds so letting you know I didn't know might need two torque wrenches okay now the oil, uh, mine is a Eaton Posse, the original one I rebuilt. Um, now when you're filling your differential, you use the GL5, okay, which most all the lubes they sell now are GL5. So I had another one of these, so I bought more of this. Now, I have read somewhere on the internet that people were talking about putting this in there and their posse's still slipping or not grabbing, and they had to add this. Now, was their posse brand new? I don't know. Probably not. My posse's brand new. I'm going to put this in here. I bought this uh, just, to, just in case I needed it. Um, but like I said, if you run this kind of oil, you have to run this if you have a posse. But no posse, it doesn't matter, just run this. When you're getting ready to do this, you will need to uh, get you, this is just like, I don't know, like eight inches, nine inches of three eighths vinyl hose because you will not be able to pour this in there because the gas tank's going to be in the way. Just get your stuff ready. Just go out there and do it. Okay, so I already have the gasket on. Kit comes with the gasket. So we have these two uh, ran out to make sure they do not interfere with these main caps. Gaskets on there. Get a couple of these started. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is just go around and hand tighten them snug with this. All right, got them snug. Now we're gonna go around and torque them to 25 foot pounds. It's 
funny in one of my other videos I was using a beam type torque wrench and some dumbass told me I didn't know how to use it because I wasn't clicking it and it was a beam type <laughs> got all these at 25 foot pounds now we can start putting the oil in to make sure it doesn't have any leaks always tight always check this drain plug make sure it's tight I had it loose make sure it's tight the fill plugs right here uses a kind of a big I don't know what size it is get the fill plug out keep it clean all right stick this tube in there with the bottle down okay now you can Feed the baby. Okay, I don't know why I thought it used a one and a half, so maybe it uses more. But we were just trying to put it, show you how to get it in there. Uh, so I guess I gotta buy another bottle of that stuff. Okay, now we've uh, got this torque down, 25 foot pounds around here. Now we're gonna do the last thing, which is this. Uh, it's not leaking, just wipe that off. That's how you're gonna check for a leak. Now, this is where you take the same quarter inch. Now these are gonna be tightened that torque down to five pounds five foot pounds so you need to take these jam nuts or lock nuts loosen them back we're gonna snug these two up and then we're gonna torque them okay snug and the torque wrench only goes down to 20. We're gonna have to get you an inch pound, so uh, five foot pounds times 12 is 60 inch pounds. In case you don't know that, I didn't know that uh, last year when I started building this car, but I never needed to. But I'm not gonna lie, I did not know that. So we got this set on 60 inch pounds. Now, this is the problem with this 70 Chevelle, is you don't have any room right here, so. Uh, just be careful. Oh, so it's just, that's it, man. It's just nothing. Wow. Seems like it would be more than that, but whatever. It. Okay, now we're gonna do. And once these jam nuts to 10, which is a uh, 10 foot pounds, is what 120 inch pounds? 120 inch pounds, so. That's it. Man, that just doesn't seem like anything. I guess, I don't know. <sighs> All right. I didn't top it off, but you're just gonna keep putting it until it literally runs out, and that's it. I just don't have enough oil. So anyway, that's that diff cover. It looks real good. I just put my exhaust in today, trying to wrap up this car for this year. You can see uh, my drive shaft and everything, all my other videos. Uh, the exhaust is used. It came off a pro touring car, but 
man, this stuff's real expensive. It's all three inch aluminized with the X5 40 series. I did have to make those two turndowns because these are $30 now just for the freaking turndown. So uh, just kind of hung it in there like that, whatever. It's just a freaking exhaust system. Anyway, thanks for watching.